Savvy. Yo, what's up, thrill seekers? It's your girl, Kiki, ready to dive headfirst into one of the planet's most mind-bending natural wonders. Today, we're getting up close and personal with the Sahara's biggest WTF moment, the Eye of the Sahara, or the Richat structure. This ain't your grandma's desert formation. It's a geological mind trip that's been messing with scientists and explorers for ages. Spoiler alert, it's not some giant alien eye spying on us. But the theories about how it got here are just as wild. Seriously, when you peep this thing from space, you might start believing in UFOs. The Richot structure is so massive and distinct that it's a go-to landmark for astronauts. It's a colossal bullseye carved into the desert over 25 miles wide. Standing at the edge of this beast, you can't help but feel like a tiny speck in the universe. You can't miss it. Now I know what you're thinking. Kiki, why are we talking about a giant dirt circle? Well, let me tell you, this dirt circle is packing some serious heat. Oh honey, this ain't just any dirt circle. It's a geological masterpiece, a swirl of ancient rock formations that's got scientists scratching their heads. Its concentric rings are like Earth's own mixtape, each layer dropping beats from the distant past. And trust me, when you see it in person, you'll be feeling all kinds of awe-inspired. The sheer size and symmetry of the structure are enough to leave anyone speechless. So buckle up, my savvy fam, because we're about to embark on a journey to the heart of the Sahara. We'll uncover the secrets of the eye, learn how to survive and thrive in the desert, and delve into the rich history and culture of the region. And maybe, just maybe, discover something truly extraordinary along the way. Like maybe aliens or Atlantis. Who knows what hidden treasures or untold stories lie beneath the sands of the Sahara. All right, history buffs and conspiracy freaks, gather round. We're about to dive into one of the most mind-blowing geological formations on our planet. The Richot structure, also known as the Eye of the Sahara, has been chilling in the desert for ages. We're talking millions of years. This isn't just any ordinary rock formation, it's a geological marvel that has puzzled scientists and intrigued explorers for decades. It's like the Beyonce of rock formations, flawless and mysterious, like back when dinosaurs were still a thing. Imagine a time when massive creatures roamed the Earth, and this structure was already standing tall, witnessing the rise and fall of these ancient giants. Talk about being the ultimate OG. But here's the kicker. We only discovered it in the 1960s thanks to astronauts orbiting Earth. Can you believe it? This massive, eye-catching formation went unnoticed for so long. It's like finding out your quiet neighbor is a rock star. Talk about a late bloomer. It's like peeping a hidden gem in your backyard after living there for years. Who'd have thunk it? Initially, scientists thought it was an impact crater from a meteorite. You know, space rock smashes into Earth, boom, giant hole. Makes sense, right? But hold your horses. Turns out, the rock formations didn't match up with an impact. The more they studied it, the more they realized that something didn't add up. It's like when you realize your Tinder date's profile pic was from 10 years ago. Catfished by a rock formation, anyone? Plus, there's no giant dent in the center. Impact craters usually have a central peak or a depression, but the Rickat structure was different. It's like expecting a donut and getting a bagel. So much for that theory. It was back to the drawing board for scientists, who had to come up with a new explanation for this enigmatic formation. Science ain't easy, folks. So what's the deal with this mysterious formation? What could have caused such a unique and striking feature in the middle of the Sahara Desert? Well, the leading theory is that it's a domed anticline, basically a dome-shaped rock formation that got eroded over time, revealing its onion-like layers. Layers on layers like a geological lasagna. Think of it like a geological layer cake, with each layer telling a story of Earth's ancient past. Over millions of years, wind and water have worn away the outer layers, exposing the intricate patterns we see today. Mother Nature's got skills. The Richot structure isn't just a geological wonder, it's also a testament to the power of natural forces. Wind, water, and time have all played a role in shaping this incredible formation. Nature's got some serious game. Scientists continue to study the eye, hoping to uncover more about its origins and the processes that created it. Each new discovery adds another piece to the puzzle, helping us understand the Earth's dynamic history. It's like a never-ending episode of CSI Geology. And it's not just scientists who are fascinated by the Richot structure. Tourists and adventurers from around the world come to see this natural wonder for themselves, 
drawn by its beauty and mystery. It's like the ultimate Instagram hotspot. As the sun sets over the Sahara Desert, the eye takes on an almost otherworldly appearance, its layers glowing in the fading light. It's a sight that leaves a lasting impression on all who see it. Talk about a golden hour glow up. All right, let's cut the crap. I know what you're thinking. Kiki, this sounds like something straight out of Indiana Jones. And you wouldn't be wrong to think that. The Richot structure has sparked its fair share of wild theories over the years. Some folks think the Richot structure is the remains of the legendary city of Atlantis. Yeah, Atlantis! Like, where's Aquaman at? Others say it's just a geological freak show. But hey, whether it's an ancient city or just Earth's epic prank, this place is seriously cool and totally savvy for all you history buffs and conspiracy theorists out there. Others think it's a landing pad for ancient aliens. Peep this. Thousands of years ago, extraterrestrial beings descended from the skies, using the Richot structure as their base of operations. They left behind clues, artifacts, and perhaps even technology that we have yet to uncover. It's the stuff of science fiction, but it's a theory that has captured the imaginations of many. Look, I love a good conspiracy theory as much as the next gal, but let's be real for a second. While these ideas are fun to think about, there's no scientific evidence to support them. The truth, as it often is, is much more grounded in reality. It's enough to make you feel like you've stepped onto another planet. The desolate beauty of the Sahara Desert, combined with the otherworldly appearance of the Raishat structure, creates an atmosphere that is both eerie and awe-inspiring. So while we may never find evidence of ancient aliens or a lost city, the Raichat structure remains a fascinating subject of study. It's a reminder of the Earth's dynamic history and the incredible forces that shape our planet. And who knows, maybe one day we'll uncover something truly extraordinary. Okay, Globetrotters, ready to add the Eye of the Sahara to your travel bucket list? I thought so. Now listen up, because navigating the Sahara Desert is no walk in the park. This ain't your grandma's all-inclusive resort, honey. First things first, you'll need a reliable 4x4 vehicle and a guide who knows their way around a sand dune. Trust me, getting lost in the Sahara is not a cute look. Let's get real for a hot minute. The territory of Western Sahara isn't just known for its epic desert vibes, it's also got a bit of a spicy past. We're talking landmines and explosive ordnance left over from a serious throwdown that went down between 1975 and 1991. Peep this! The Royal Moroccan Army, Mauritanian Armed Forces, and the military forces of Frente Polisario were all up each other's nose, leaving a trail of danger behind. Now dig this! A massive two 700-kilometer-long sandberm was thrown up during the conflict, stretching from deep inside southern Morocco all the way to the Atlantic Ocean at Gergerat. Yeah, that's right. A sand wall so long, it could give your ex's text messages a run for their money. And here's the kicker. 1,465 kilometers of this sandy monster cuts the territory into western and eastern parts, like some sort of desert divorce. But here's the not-so-fun part. The berm and the areas around it are loaded with landmines. So, unless you're into playing real-life minesweeper, you might want to steer clear of this danger zone. Safety first, savvy travelers. And don't even think about skimping on water and supplies. This is the desert, darling, not a picnic. Packing for the Sahara is all about practicality and comfort. Think lightweight, breathable clothing, a wide-brimmed hat, and sunglasses that scream diva on a mission. And don't forget your savvy travel gear. A sturdy backpack, a reusable water bottle, and a first aid kit are essential. After all, we want to look fabulous while exploring, but safety always comes first. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. So if you've had fun or learned anything, do us a favor, like, comment, subscribe, share. That stuff really helps out the channel. We really need your help in building our community. We release polls at 9 a.m. Eastern every day. You can find them on our community tab, a short video at 2.15 p.m. daily, and a longer type video every other day. We'd love to hear from you. Leave us a hello in the comments below. Also, you can check out the super links we have in the description for Savvy Travel Gear to help keep you safe on your next journey. Or if you prefer, you could simply buy me a coffee with the QR code on the screen or with the link in the description below. We are so grateful for your love and support of the channel. Remember to be kind, be gentle with yourself, and know that you are appreciated. Peace.